When you stop recording with Loom, you're automatically taken to your My Videos page, where your videos are stored. You can access the My Videos page anytime by opening Loom and clicking on this play button. I'm going to select the video I want to edit. And I'm going to rename it. I'll just click and type. By default, your video can be viewed by anyone with a link. Under access control, you have the option of making your video visible to search engines. You can require a password to view it or enter the email addresses of people who can view it. Now let's look at your options and video settings. You can decide whether or not to allow viewers to leave comments and whether you want to receive an email notification if they do. You can enable or disable emoji reactions and Loom automatically creates an animated GIF thumbnail for your video, but you can disable it, although I find it provides a cool preview for your video. You can decide whether or not to allow viewers to download your video, and if you want to allow people to see how many times your recording has been viewed. Now let's click on the scissors to cut out unwanted portions of our video. On this screen, you can preview your video. I'm just gonna get right to doing some trimming. I'm gonna click Start Trimming because I wanna trim out that beginning portion where I'm starting out my video before I started my presentation. So I just have to drag this slider and get to the place where I'd like my video to begin. When I have it where I want it, just go down here and I click on Remove. The portion that's in the red is what gets removed from your video. You can trim out any portion of your video. I'm just gonna go ahead to the end of the video and I'm gonna get rid of this part where I hit stop recording. So somewhere around here, I'm gonna start my trimming and I'm just gonna take these handles and drag them down for the portion that I want to cut out. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on remove. So now all that's left of my video is this portion here in the middle. I can play it back. There we go. So now my presentation's up, you can just present like you normally would. And when I'm happy with the trimming, I'll come down here and click Publish Changes. And once my video is ready, I can download it. I can copy a link to share. Or I can come up here, click Share, and then copy the embed code to embed it elsewhere.